Welcome back. This is Imperial Buckethead. Uh, back again. This is my third video this week. Um, I had some couple of Magic the Gathering openings, some Kaldheim and Strixhaven set boosters that I opened. Had some pretty decent pulls, especially one of my set boosters in a previous video. If you want to go check it out, um, I can put the link in the description or just go to my channel and uh, look at the Magic the Gathering playlist. It's on there. Uh, but right now, tonight's video, uh, we've got <clears throat> a Lord of the Rings trading card game booster box. Okay, this is the Fellowship of the Ring set. So this was the very first set that ever came out. All right, so this is circa like 2001. Um, the game doesn't didn't really have a long life, but it was an excellent game. It had a lot of really cool uh, mechanics and uh, had a very unique system uh, game system built around. Um, the actual franchise, the IP, the story, traveling to destroy the ring. Uh, you had nine sites that you traveled through, and uh, you you played as both, uh, you know, the shadow and the free people's cards. So you you kind of played two roles in your deck. So you had basically two decks combined into one, and uh, you could really there were a lot of really cool synergies and and ways to uh, uh, make things happen and do some cool stuff with combat and. Uh, really excellent game so today that's what we're going to open i've got several of these bo booster boxes left i wanted to open one on camera because I've, I've opened a bunch just on my own and uh yeah i just haven't recorded it so i'm going to record it today all right so let's see here i may have to go get my pocket knife should have had that ready now we got it so i'm going to open the top here all right the seal is broken um this game's really fun to open and it's fun to play prices right now these boxes can be had for around a hundred bucks um, maybe give or take a few bucks uh, I know these in particular um, I purchased them uh, at first they were about 40 and then there was like somebody did a mass buyout everybody was buying them the, the supply went down prices went up so they're they're up to like you know between 80 and a hundred dollars and sometimes a little bit more like maybe 110 115 uh, but it's an excellent set. I, I feel like it's worth it uh, if you're going to get into this game. Now, singles and, you know, single cards you can get on eBay and other places, uh, Facebook, places like that. And uh, you can get some of the singles cheaper. Um, the set in particular is, I think it's about, uh, I'm, I want to say between $150 and $200 for one copy of each card in the set. So the entire set, you know, number for number. Uh, what we'll do, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll leave the... Uh, Let's leave this back here, just kind of be a placeholder, and we'll just pull the packs out like we would back in 2001. Um, this is kind of cool. This was like a little box topper. Talks about the Lord of the Rings fan club. That was a big thing back then. They had a lot of promos and stuff they put in the magazines and uh, giveaways they did. Really cool. Um, but this was this was hot, man. This is 20 years ago. This was it. This was like the Star Wars of the early 2000s. It's a huge franchise. All right, so first pack. So the way these packs are laid out, you'll have three uncommons and one rare, and behind the rare will be either a foil. Um, I have gotten double foil packs before, so that's interesting. I'm going to see if we maybe get that, so I'm, I don't know for sure. Um, the last box I opened didn't have the double foil, but every other box I've opened did have it, so I'm not sure. All right, so our first card, I'll try to do these kind of slow. Uh, their power is in terror. This is a Nazgul card for the shadow culture. All right, Athelis. That symbol means Gondor, so the realm of men. And here's our third uncommon. This is Lothorian Woods. So that's one of the sites that you would travel to. It's actually specifically Site 6, which is indicated by this number. Late, later sets after... Um, the movie blocks finished with, you know, Fellowship of the Ring, Two Towers, and Return of the King. Uh, the Shadows block took away this this number here, and you could basically play, uh, whenever it came for the next site, you could choose what you would want to play. Our first rare is the Morgul Hunter. Cool. This is the Sauron culture for the Shadow. So we'll put the rare next to it. Hey, nice. Foil Dwarven Axe. So really cool foil, and I, and I hope this really uh, shows you the detail but this one into the foil here, and I really like the way they did this. It's not entirely foil, but the border and some of the artwork is foil. Really cool. So, really cool that we got one right off the bat. Uh, these boxes generally had about six to seven foils at the most. 
I've gotten as less as uh, as least as five. Um, you know, it, at the very least, you'll get five. So it's usually five to seven. All right. So these are our commons. So what we'll do is uh, we'll put our commons up here. Mary. So that's the common Mary. Hobbit culture. This is means wizard culture. So you know, of course, you got Gandalf and whatnot. This is the Moria culture. Yondor once again. We'll go through a few packs slower and then I'll speed it up after that just so you can kind of get a look at it for you guys that haven't seen this game before. Pack two. Hope everyone's doing okay tonight. This is a lot of fun to open on the channel. I'm just glad to be able to do this with you guys. All right, so <clears throat> this is our first uncommon. Past seldom trodden. Another Nazgul represented by that kind of twisted crown. Orphan. That is the elf culture for the free peoples. We got another uncommon site. So there were uncommon and common sites. Rivendell Waterfall. And what's cool is they all have some sort of special uh, event that happens. Uh, and special keywords like sanctuary means that you can heal. I think it's up to five wounds if I remember correctly. <clears throat> Next one, Wealth of Moria. That's our rare. That is the Dwarven culture, of course, just like that foil axe that we got. Uh, Lorian Elf, so that's a common. Okay, so we'll put the rare here. We'll put the commons up here. The common one ring. Just look at the, the graphic arts that went into this. This is really cool. They, spent, they took a lot of care to really make sure that the feel of this franchise was appropriate. On the backstabber. There and back again by Bilbo Baggins. So this is a tale. A condition is like an enchantment in uh, Magic the Gathering. An aura or an enchantment. Gondor's Vengeance. And there's a regular axe. If you want to look at a quick comparison. This is going to be a longer video, so just hang in with me, guys. This is be a really cool fun video just sit back talk about Lord of the Rings and open some cards that haven't seen the light of day in a long time or scimitar okay Next pack. <clears throat> excuse me all right so this is another Gondor culture card for our first uncommon one whom men would follow, right? So they're referring to Aragorn. Of course, he's the heir, he's the Sildor's heir. All right, so we got a second uncommon as a site. Midgewater Marshes, site two. Okay, we got Gimli, a main character. <clears throat> now he's, this is the uncommon Gimli. Um, I got excited for a second, I forgot the artwork's a little different there. But yeah, this is the Uncommon Gimli, but it's still really cool. Damage plus one. Uh, during your Fellowship phase, you can add to Twilight, uh, which is a resource pool that uh, both uh, you add to it as a Free Peoples player, and then the Shadows player takes away from it. So the more you play as the good guys, uh, the more uh, the more you enable the Shadow to do more. So pretty cool. So you can add to Twilight to place a card from your hand beneath your draw deck. So can help you kind of cycle if you want to get a card out of your hand and uh, that way you get to dra draw an extra card at the end of your turn when you reconcile. Our rare is Gimli's Helm. Nice. Nice pull there. <clears throat> I think I only have one copy of Gimli's Helm so this will make my second copy. I I'm shooting for play sets but uh, if I have one copy of each card in a set and I have some extras for decks I'm good so I don't have to have like four of everything this literally. There's our common ring, so no foil. I was hoping it was a foil common ring. That would have been interesting. I haven't gotten one of those. But yeah, that's just the regular common one ring, which will be attached to Frodo from the beginning of the game. Uh, Goblin Backstabber. The, another there and back again. Gondor's Vengeance. Dwarven Axe. Orc Scimitar. Uh, Elven Bow. Really cool. Gives an archer keyword to a, an elven uh, character, an ally or a companion. All right. Really cool. I'm having fun with this. <clears throat> Next pack. 
Right, first uncommon. Gleaming spirits will crumble. Dead. Sorrow and culture color. There's the weather top. Site two. All right, trader's voice. So this hand, of course, is the white hand of Saruman. So that's a Urukai culture for the shadow. And Morgul Warden is our rare. Interesting. Nice. For each other Sauron orc you can spot, Morgul Warden is strength plus one. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. You can flood uh, flood the board with cheap uh, Sauron minions, Sauron orcs, and pump this guy up and just make him make him a beast. But he is unique. That dot means you can only have one copy and play at any one time. So, all right, got Rick Shaman. Battle Fury, Frenzy, Common Sight, Moria Lake, Strength of the Spirit, on the bottom leaf. So that's a possession, so it'd be like an artifact in Magic. For you Magic players, or Savage. Okay. Oh, that is one of the, the unique Nazgul, one of the men of old that was turned into a ring wraith. Second in common, Bree Streets. Third in common, Cylindy, Elf of Mirkwood. And our rare, the Mirror of Galadriel. Really cool. It's a possession. Really cool. Oh, we get a foil. Oh, wow. That's cool. It's an uncommon, but it's still a foil. Foil cards are a lot more special in this game. Especially the early sets, they're really hard to find. And uh, if you bought loose packs at all, you might or might, or might not get one. But that's cool. Just look at that, the luster on that card. That is really sweet. Love the foils in this game. So we didn't get a dual foil, so we'll put this here with the axe. <clears throat> Morning Lake. So I'm gonna start breezing through these a little faster because we're 12 minutes in. I don't wanna keep you guys too long. I don't know if you'll, if you'll last that long. I was going to uh, live stream this, but it was one of those things where, um, you know, I wasn't sure how many people would show up because I don't, I only have uh, just a handful of subscribers so far and I do this for fun. So, you know, in the future I may do a live stream, but right now I got, it's kind of late for me right now and uh, I didn't get a chance to do this as early as I wanted to. East Road. That's the first uncommon. Sauron's defenses. Mountain trees. And our rare. The Blade of Gondor. Awesome. Bear must be Boromir, so it only can be played on Boromir. It gives him damage plus one, which means whenever he wounds another character, they take two wounds instead of one. Uh, during a skirmish, the skirmish phase, you can exert Bor Boromir, which means to deal damage to him, to wound an orc or orakai he is skirmishing. So he, he can flat out just kill whatever he wants to kill at the expense of a damage, and it makes him strength plus two as well. Not bad. I have one copy of that. It's great to see another copy of that. Definitely going into, uh, I have a deck that I built uh, for Fellowship. Uh, based around Urukai and then Gondor men, so I've got Boromir and Aragorn in there um, with lots of uh, uh, healing and tanky kind of stuff to just help them grind through to the end. A lot of fun to play. All right, here we go. Like I said, the graphic arts, you see the borders, the way that this is laid out. It almost looks like an old school uh, computer RPG or, a, you know, even just a, an RPG in a book, just a 
time and care it went into the artwork and the design, graphic design of this game. One of my favorite scenes, which uh, was original artwork from the past. That scene's been painted many times. Dagger Strike. Shoulder to shoulder. Last column. Okay. First uncommon. Doing confluence. Hey, we got Holiday. Uncommon elf. Oh, I'll put it in that comment file. Move that. Elf golden one. Oh, did I see? Thought I, if I see what I thought I saw, that's that's very cool that I got that. All right, so this is Grimmer. He's an uncommon, the dwarf ally. And what do we get? There it is. The one ring, a sealed or's bane. Really cool that we got this. I just recently pulled one copy of this after I don't know how many. I went through several boxes that I bought um, when they were cheaper. And never got this, but I got lots of main characters and other good stuff, just not the not the rare ring. So it's nice to see another copy of this. But just look at that. Look how gorgeous that is. That that still from the movie. Wish it was foil though, <laughs> for real. Alright, is this a foil? It is not a foil. Looking looking at it through the camera here, so sometimes it's hard to tell. So these are our commons, so we're gonna breeze through these. Last come. All right. Bree Gate. That's our first thing come. The, their number must be few. Drawn to its power, power of the ring. That scene on the weather top was really cool. All right, what's our rare? Our rare is Ulera Todea, one of the Nazgul. Uh, Nazgul were really strong, they were expensive, but they're really strong. <clears throat> and you can uh, you can play them, their site, their home site is site three, so once you're, once you're at site three or greater, you don't have to pay the roaming costs for, for your uh, minions when you play a shadow. So he has Fierce, which means he attacks twice. And during assignment, which uh, the Free People's player would get to assign a defender for your attack, you can spot four burdens, which would be on the actual ring bearer, which would be uh, Frodo. So if he has four burdens, you can, uh, ass <clears throat> to assign a companion except the ring bearer to a skirmish. So like if you wanted to kill off one of their characters, you could, as long as you have four burdens, your opponent has four burdens on their Frodo, you can actually assign this, uh, assign someone to him so he could kill them if he wanted to through two attacks. So it's pretty interesting. Very strong card. Uh, I think I described that, or you know, described how that works the right way. Um, if I didn't, just please, please correct me. I'm still rusty on the game. I started playing it again recently with a friend of mine. So we're uh, we're pretty good with it so far. We flow pretty well through the game. We can we can finish games and. 35 to 40 minutes, um, give or take. And uh, it's it's getting a lot better. We're avid magic players, so it didn't take very much, but some of the intricacies of the of the game, you know, we're still trying to trying to get a hold of and he never played the game and I did, so it's kind of two sides of the board there. All right. <clears throat> All right. Feel like I'm in the card store and I just Saved up some money and bought a booster box. And I'm hanging out, opening it up at the store. I miss those days. Yep, those were those were the good days. All right, no strangers to the shadows. That's your uncommon. Worry. So that is a Saruman Orc High card. Third uncommon. Oh, there, Ostea. Looks like uh, this box is wanting us to build a Nazgul deck, uh, Nazgul Shadow, and. From the looks of it, probably Gondor. And a rare, Albert Drury. So he is the wizard culture card. 
for the Free Peoples. And to play him, you have to have Gandalf on the field. All right. Is this a foil? It is not a foil. That would be kind of cool as a foil or that that red hot uh, steel on that uh, that sword there. That would be kind of cool if it was foil. I don't think I have a foil one of those, so it's interesting. We'll breeze through these. Council Courtyard. These are pretty minty. I haven't really seen any kind of really bad, you know, there's a, so there's a couple just from where it's been in the pack and kind of see some, a little bit of edge wear, but other than that, they're very minty. It's nice to have uh, nice cards to put in the binder and use for playing because I always double sleeve stuff, especially magic, but this game being as collectible and harder to get uh, as it has been in the last year versus years past, I definitely double sleeve everything. That way, uh, when I'm not using it, it goes back in the binder, it's still in the inner sleeve and I'm not gonna get hurt. So that's just how I roll. All right, Gandalf's cart, so that's the first one. Second in common, Morgan Skulker. Skulker, that say that right? Third in common is a site. Brownlands. Site eight, so it's almost to the end of the site deck. And our rare is, ha ha, Goblin Armory. The really excellent card for the <clears throat> Moria culture. And believe it or not, this card is still worth like 20 plus bucks because it's just so good in, in the game. And a lot of people still play the game, believe it or not. So Goblin Armory, that's excellent. I'm glad to see that. We got the one ring, we got the armory. Uh, got a couple of cool foils so far. So we're not so far, not bad. This is a good box. All right, do we have a foil? We do not. So the foils are still hiding from us. But it's nice to see Goblin Armory. I have three copies now, so I'm looking forward to getting a fourth copy potentially. Um, don't think it'll be in this box, but maybe in a future pack or may just outright buy one just so I have four so I can build a, a legit Moria uh, shadow deck, shadow side of the deck. There's Sam. Last, uh, next to last pack on the right row there. Sorry, a little close to the camera there, using my cell phone. Cell phone records pretty, pretty dang good videos considering. So we got a Goblin Runner from the Moria culture. I do like the orange that they use on the border. It's pretty cool, it's kind of a rust look. The Gaffer's Pipe. Turn this this way so we don't accidentally spoil the rare Mithril Mine. The sights in foil are cool too. I, I know I was always trying to foil out my sight, sight deck for the game, for my decks. And our rare is, hey, it's Pippin. Nice. Can't remember, I think I do have a copy of Pippin. It's nice to see another copy. When you play Pippin, remove a burden or wound from a companion. So that's not bad. Kind of some utility there. And he only costs him one. So, I mean, that's, that's legit, legit pretty good. And this is not a foil. So foils are hiding. They're being sneaky. Rook Soldier. There's a Cause of Doom. Another Sam. Elven Cloak. Goblin Wall Crawler. Really cool. All right. This last pack of this end row here. Oh, went out of focus there. All right. All blades perish. First uncommon. Second uncommon is a sight. It is the slopes of Amonhead. Third uncommon, orc assassin. And our rare. So what it is. Oh, it's a wizard. Hey, uh, Otar. Otar, however you want to say it. I don't think I had him either, actually. It's interesting. I make him, I may complete my set with this box, honestly. There's several cards that I just didn't have, so. And did we get a foil? No, we did not get a foil. Foils are being elusive today, guys. Sorry, Mom's ambition. Wizarder. Goblin Warrior, 
Farron, Farron, however you want to say it. Hobbit farmer looks like he's uh, doing a lot of farming there. Defiance. Nice. All right. Middle row, here we go. Okay. Seeking it always. Seeking the one ring for their boss. Green dragon in. That's pretty good. Exert a hobbit to play Sam from your draw deck. That's cool. I had forgotten about that one actually. A foul creation. A rare. The under deeps of Moria. Nice. Another good Moria card. All right, so we'll breeze through these commons. Trying to get to where you can see them good, so if you want to pause and read the card, you can. Rager, Pathfinder. Okay. Yeah, look at the look at the back of that. That is so sweet. They did such a good job with this game. It's a shame that it went away. Thrower. Common sight is Balin's Tomb. In Moria. Let Folly be our cloak. Our third run common. And a rare Morgul Blade. I do have a couple of these already, but it's nice to see another one. I've been wanting to build a Nazgul uh, shadow side of a deck here lately. I'm trying to figure out, you know, what I want my free people side to be. Um, for the next deck that I build. So this Morgul Blade is just reinforcing the fact that this box wants us to build a uh, Ring Race. Nice. Hey, there's a foil. A foil common, Battle Fury. Um, there was typically like one foil rare per box, sometimes two, but most of the time not so much. You got just one, kind of like uh, the old days of Magic, but yeah, really cool how they did the foils there. Very unique. Did we get a double foil? No, we did not. So we'll put the foil here. All right. Stout and sturdy. Border defenses. Yeah. This is definitely a long video today, guys. But I hope you enjoy it. I hope I hope somebody watches it and hangs out to the end and uh enjoys these these pack openings of this really excellent old school card game from from the good old days pillars of the kings black breath the talent are not being seen and our rare is oh oh there's Arwen. Nice. Uh, third copy of Arwen that I've got. I was kind of sad the second copy that I pulled of her. Um, unfortunately, had a lot of like, it was kind of rough at the bottom just from being moving around in the pack. It's just the nature of these boxes are 20 years old. So just one of those things. But it is nice to see Arwen. This copy looks pretty good. The back looks good. There's, there's a couple of little... You can kind of see that there, a couple of little nicks here and there, but it's not, you know, it's not new mint, but I would definitely consider it uh, maybe light, very light play if, yeah, I don't even know. Yeah, very light play. Nice to see our one. I had a huge crush on Liv Tyler. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think we all did. Still do, she's still gorgeous though. Order defenses. So guys, there is a, a players committee, like a kind of like they did with the Star Wars CCG and Star Trek. Um, it hasn't been, uh, it's not very old. It's just recently formed, I think within the last six months. And they've actually printed a full set or uh, produced a full set that you can print out and play with, which is really excellent. It's based around uh, Fellowship of the Ring that I can tell from the cards that I've looked at. 
And um, what's cool is, is you can go, you can go online to places and, and guys, you can print this stuff out and to play with for personal use. Obviously don't print it and try to sell it, but you can print, uh, you can have these companies uh, make playing cards. So I think makeplaincards.com. Um, you can actually have them print foils and get really close to the quality that we have here. So I'm really contemplating uh, having that new set printed and maybe just having a play set of it printed so I, so I can, uh, you know, have it in a binder and just have it really cool. And, and you know, gr granted, you know, it'll cost um, a, little, a little chunk of change, but it's, you know, what is the, that's a fraction. And you don't have to do that. You don't have to have it printed out professionally. You can print it out at home and play with it just as easily. But I am thinking about having it professionally uh, printed. So my friend and I that I've been playing with, so we can enjoy it and try to set out. So I'm really looking forward to that. Hopefully I can do that soon. Weariness. There's our Uncommon Legolas, Prince of Mirkwood. And our rare is Despair. Kind of lost our zoom there for a second, our focus. All right. Did we get uh, another foil? We did not. That's a more. Coat of mail. Sorry, one's chill. Goblin Scimitar. All right. Next pack. Passive cards. More counters. Bitter hatred. And our rare is, let's see. Oh, it's Nazgul. Black Steed. Got several of those. I think this might be uh, my fifth one. Uh, if it's not my fifth, it's definitely my fourth. So we're, we're closing in on that. Where I'll have it extra for trade. Not that it's worth a lot of money, but. All right. <clears throat> not really i mean i like the collectability of this um i like that i do have some sort of value here but at the same time that's not my primary focus and even though i do mention a lot hey this is worth this or this is worth that bear in mind i want to play the game i don't want to i got these cards i if i didn't want to play this game i would not have opened this box i would have left it sealed as soon as i cracked it the value of it depending on what I get, I may not retain it, right? This is definitely not going to hold long term. Um, you know, I don't know if this collector's bubble that we're in is ever going to go away or, or chill out, so to speak, but um, I like to collect and I like to play. So that's what I'm trying to do here. I didn't really give you guys a good look at this these packs. I'll do that real quick. So this is a 365 card set. This box was actually one of the better boxes that I've gotten um, as far as condition wise. The box is nice and square. Uh, the wrapping, uh, the wrapper hasn't been uh, torn apart or ripped in, in any way. It was just a nice solid wrapped box. <clears throat> There's our, common, our uncommon ranger sword uh, in non-foil. That foil looks sweet though. Standing against darkness. Well, I spoiled the rare. Here, there it is. There's the rare. <clears throat> Larry and Nelia. Nella. Nelia. I, I'd say that. And then our rare, of course, was uh, questions that need answering. So, at that point, Gandalf was trying to figure out if that was, in fact, the one ring, which he, of course, of course he found that out. No foil. Summit of Almond Hen. Or an armor. Under. Great shield. Sorry, my snows. Great eagle. Uh, we're a little over halfway through the middle section here, so this is a 36 pack booster box. Uh, a lot like Magic the Gathering. 15 cards per, excuse me, 11 cards per pack. Apologize. Yeah, 11, 11 cards instead of 15 like magic, but. 
first uncommon. Second is a goblin sneak. Oh, balls again. Keep sticking together here. Ruben Del Terrace. And of course, we got Rare Sam. Uh, play Bill the Pony from your draw deck. Um, yeah, very interesting. Frodo dies, you can make him the you can make him the ring bearer with a resistance five, so he can't really hold the ring for a long time, but he can carry on if you uh, have Sam in play and you lose Frodo, which is a possibility. It does happen. Master Proudfoot. Curse from Mordor. Here's our uncommon sight. Moria Stairway. And a rare, what could it be? Uh, another Nazgul, Alara Atea. So we're, like I said, this box is destiny. We're, we're building Nazgul as a shadow culture for a deck now. It's just inevitable. Uh, no foil, okay. Dwarven Heart is our common. Long scavengers. First uncommon tower lieutenant. Second is Eamon Mule. Third uncommon is Sword of Minus Morgul. Only goes on a rare Lamenia. And our rare is Stone Trolls. The Hobbit culture condition. Okay. <clears throat> Relentless charge. Bag in. Nice. It's hard to have to play the gaffer from your draw deck. Side one. Turn in common. Sauron's power. Rare. Uruk guard. Nice to have some more rare Uruks for my other deck that I've got built. He's damage plus one and during assignment you can exert him and spot a companion to prevent the opponent from assigning that companion to this minion. So really cool. You can kind of force him into uh, assigning someone different to him. <clears throat> Not a foil. Of Cause of Doom, Far Seeing Eyes. It's back, Let's switch it up here. <clears throat> yep. Guess you want to see my, my hairy hand here. Sorry about that, guys. All right, first in comments, Arm was Frost. The weather condition. Reeling Forest. Gandalf's Pipe. Our rare is Dark Whispers. Hey, we got a foil land or hut land. You, you know, I've been opening magic here. Foil Sight. Oh, look at that. That is so sweet. Rivendell Terrace. Sight 3. Uh, yeah, so that's going in my uh, my Gondor uh, Urukai deck for sure. <laughs> really sweet. I don't think I don't think I ever had that one in foil, so that's awesome. All right, so Bruce through the commons.
of the Bridge of Cause of Doom. Or seeing as Jordan Hart. Last pack of the middle row, and then we'll be on to the very last one. <clears throat> One of the highly sought after foils in this set is a uh, foil Legolas Greenleaf, so the rare Legolas. If we pulled that, I would probably just flip out because right now that card has just been climbing in value. Um, like I said, I don't, I try not to talk value all the time, but I don't know if I'd play with that one. <laughs> but uh, you know, it depends on if the prices chill out or not. But anyways, it would be really cool to pull that because it's very, very uh, highly sought after. Ulair La Minya. Support of the home house. Our rare mithril shaft. Okay. And we got a foil. Here's our foil rare. Not Legolas, but it is what it is. It's a Rurik Kai card. Um, alive and unspoiled. So look at that. Need a good feel for that. Nice. We did not get a second foil in that pack, but it is a foil rare. I'll put it in the foil pile for now. Onto the commons. All right. So what we'll do, I'm going to move this out of the way a little bit, and we'll put these packs here. Okay. The prancing pony. Rich Slayer. Swanship of the God. And our rare is our one's fate. Do we have a foil? Nope, we do not. Another end doing baits. Next pack. More broom. Let's fill up. So that's R1. Must be an elf, but when played on R1, that's for loss. Twilight is minus two. It's nice, so you play it for free. Awesome. In shadow and our rare the choice of what right. there's our common Frodo that's in the starter decks Lord of Moria or soldier hop the sword getting down to the nitty-gritty last several packs here and then, uh, <laughs> this long video will be over for you guys that uh, hopefully have hung around for the ending of this. Maybe we'll get something epic. I hope so. More vocal scorm skirmisher. <clears throat> the Master's Will. Half lane deafness. A rare. Alerts is battle cry. Pretty cool. Making a rock strength minus one and damage plus one. Definitely worth it. Because <clears throat> you can uh, potentially. If it's already damage plus one, you can make a damage plus two at that point, and they deal three wounds. That's pretty brutal. Hey, nice. Got another foil common, the Rings Oppression. Uh, so I'm not thinking we'll pull anything super hot from uh, the foil slot in this, but hey, we were hoping for a main character, but we didn't get it, but it's all good. We did get some beautiful foils. So maybe we'll get lucky in the last several packs here, but who knows? Oops, hot and sore. Arrows of Orion. What's that coming? Ranger for Stilly. Trolls of the Forest. And our rare is Work Bowman. Did we get a foil? If I can get a hold of this. No foil? A 
of the marksman we're at 45 minutes so we'll be wrapping this up pretty soon thank you for those of you that have hung with me and uh, watched this whole video i started to split it up into two videos i kind of wish i had but i'm enjoying opening this for you guys uh, and just seeing these cards again and uh, just sharing this experience with you it's really awesome to be able to do that after all, I do, uh, I do this for fun. Dwarf Elf Chamber. I'm not trying to make money doing this. All right, so our rare is, hey, another Aragorn. That makes my play set of Aragorn. I now have four copies. Very nice. Uh, condition of him. He's got some just normal being in the pack for 20 years rare. Um, edge there. You can see where they clipped it from the factory when they were cutting them. Not terrible. Excellent. Nice nice good condition card nice to see airborne again it's nice to have a, a whole play set i do have him in that deck only as a two of and i run the starter deck uh airborne as my other character and it actually works pretty well in that deck but it's not like a top tier i'm gonna try to win every game deck it's, it's just a very grindy very fun deck to play uh, if I can get rare Baromir into play, I can start healing him. And then between Aragorn and Baromir, they, they usually can grind on through to the end. Frodo's bedroom. Oh, okay. Play a Hobbit draw a card. A rare is thin and stretched. Very cool. And there's a common Pippin, but it is not a foil. Let's put this over here. Do our common stack real quick. Looks like we got about six packs left, guys. Very cool. We hit Goblin Armor. We got the One Ring. We got Air Armor. We got R1. We got some really good utility cards. Some really sweet foils. So, turned out to be a pretty decent box, if I don't say so myself. <clears throat> First uncommon, Phobos Pipe. Next one is. Open here. No ordinary storm. And our rare is Twilight World. Nice. Do we get another foil? No. Come. Let's move on to the next pack. I actually had five packs now, not six. Well, that would work. Anyway, I uh, try to do it. With that. <clears throat> nice. Oh, something looks different there. Interesting. All right. Former Magus Fields. Foes of Mordor. Rare is Legolas Greenleaf. Nice. Not foil. Still Legolas. That's, I believe this is my second copy of Legolas from this set. Um, I went back in the day, I, I pulled a few main characters, but never had some of these uh, uh, that I have now just because of being able to get these boxes. Um, back in the day, I wasn't able to really get them. I didn't have enough money. Um, was I was in high school, but anyways, really sweet. We got Legolas. Very excellent pull. And no foil for that other slot, but nice. So we've got a slew of main characters, lots of really good cards. Really happy with this box. One of the boxes I opened had like the whole fellowship in it, just about. I mean, literally almost all of it. And I was just like so very surprised by that. It was really interesting. Hey, there's Rosie. I don't know why these are backwards. Rosie Cotton. Here's our uncommon Boromir. Then a rare far Farmer Maggot. Good old Farmer Maggot. It's probably one of the most common rares that you can pull from the Fellowship of the Ring set. All right. No foil here. Three packs left. Will we get another foil? That's the question. Who knows? We're about to find out though. We shall find out together. 
Uh, so another uh, little off topic from what we're doing right now, I used to play the Transformers trading card game by uh, Wizards of the Coast. I was really into it. Had play sets of everything up to like Wave 4. Um, I think Wave 4 I was missing a few cards from having play sets, but um, <clears throat> really enjoyed playing that game. But I sold my collection because I had stopped playing and just there wasn't really a following for it. And I regretted it. Um, even though I did get a pretty decent amount of money for it, um, I always regretted it. And now, you know, they canceled the game. Here's our rare, Uruk Spy. They canceled the game and, uh, you know, prices have come down on the boxes. You can buy the boxes cheaper. The only boxes that you really can't find readily available, honestly, is just the last set that came out because they just did not print as much of it. Um, I did manage to get a couple of sealed boxes of that set for a decent price, and I'm really happy about that. Um, will I open both of them? I don't know. I mean, it depends on if I can get uh, my play group to maybe get into it. They're all Magic players, but they like board games. They like other card games, uh, Pokemon and whatnot. So I don't know if that's something I can get them into, but we'll see. I at least have a few friends that would play the game with me. So at the very least, I get to collect it and have it again and enjoy opening it. And guess what? That means more videos for the channel, more content that I can put out uh, for you guys to, sh you know, for for me to share with you, and uh, so we can enjoy these pack pack openings that we do. All right, our rare is Strength of Kings. Nice. Uh, not a foil. Last pack. Does the last pack have a foil? Who knows? It's a foil chase in these old card games because they were just so rare and special. It's just, it's nice to like. You know, Magic right now is kind of flooded by just bling everywhere. Foil rares, foil everything. Back in the day, if you got a foil, it was a big deal. It's like, holy shit, I just pulled a foil. Uller and Quinn. And especially if it was a rare. I mean, it was, you know, really cool to have that. It was just nice to be able to play that and be like, hey, I've got a foil version of that. Rukai Rampage. And our last rare is, last but not least... The Spies of Saruman. Now, did we get a foil? That's the question. We'll pull this to the side. Uh, no foil. No, that's okay. Well, we'll breeze through these last few commons. Guys, I appreciate you hanging out with me and uh, hanging out for this long video to open this box. I really enjoyed opening it. I hope you guys did too. Uh, if you want to, go check out my playlist on my channel. I've got my other Lord of the Rings openings there. And, uh, you can check those out. I'm doing a starter deck series, which I'm going to kick back up pretty soon. Where I, I'm, I'm opening uh, at least uh, all starter decks from each block, from each set, all the way up until uh, Return of the King through those three sets. And then I actually have uh, Shadow starter decks and packs, and I have Black Rider starter decks and packs. So we'll go beyond the movie block a little bit. Um, anything beyond uh, Shadows and Black Rider is just a little bit unrealistic for me to try to get because it's just so rare it's towards the end of the game. So here's our foils. Very cool. Hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. I know I enjoyed opening this box. And uh, I hope to see you guys again soon. Thanks for joining me. Get a good shot of this for the thumbnail. Really? Hey, there we go. That's cool. All right, have a good one.